Okay, welcome to today's episode. It's a very special episode because in a previous episode, TDK, Shen keep talking about Hokkien Mee. Oh, Chocha is the, literally the best Hokkien Mee. Wow, that's the worst speech ever. No, the best Hokkien Mee you eat, Hong okay, okay. Tom Cry. And you guys keep commenting about it, so we decided we're going to go and try it. So because Volkswagen has... It's Volkswagen. Volkswagen, okay. So Volkswagen has... <laughs> it's so unnatural. <laughs> Okay, so Volkswagen is the sponsor of today's episode and in collaboration right, with them since we got a car right there as you can see. It's the ID4 GTX. So we're going to use that car to go around Singapore and we're going to try the best Hokkien Mee that you guys have voted for in the North, South, East and West and we're going to let you know which is the best. Yes. Let's go! Okay, so I've had the car for a few days now but it's their first time checking out the car. So what do you think? Do you like Just this now, red? When she power on the car, this thing moves. Yeah, so the headlight will adjust. This is mid. You know what's the crazy part? When I walk near to the car, as long as the key is in my pocket, right? The car turns itself on and unlocks itself. Oh, wow. Yeah. Makes you realize how shit our cars are. Can I just say something that I really, really love, right? Is this little light, right, at the handle. Because sometimes when at night, right, you don't want to be like, ta da da then got fingerprint everywhere, right? Then you have to use microfiber cloth and clean. Now, right, light here, you know exactly where to open. Damn sure. I don't know what it represents, but when you got GTX, ah, or like GT, ah, it's the more powerful it's version. Car. Okay. Not bad, quite cute. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, let's go, let's go. Interior. It hey, what? The door handle also. Just Sorry, this one Dan already say. Ay, yeah, there. Yes. Welcome Second time in our lives. What the hell? Welcome to the interior. Wow. <laughs> Seat belts, please. Wait, why is the chair yes. moving? Hey, I don't need the leg room, eh. <laughs> no, no, it's it just moved by itself. So this wow. is your comfort position, which like you can set the memory to. Because when the door opens, right, you want to exit, the chair moves back to give you more space. Oh. Why is it so nice to me? <laughs> How about me? <laughs> what do I have? I don't feel like you I have leg room because there's no transmission tunnel because of EV, right? You can oh, that's put all your bags on the floor. That's a huge amount of space. It's so cute, the pedal. It says pause and play. Yo, touchscreen. Touchscreen light. Oh ready? my gosh. Ready, ready, ready. All right. Off we go. Also, the gear shifters. Oh, wow. Seat belt, seat belt. Everybody wear seat belt. Already. Yeah. 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 We always say fine. Oh, sorry. We only managed to move like two meters because this Sick. is not Roblox. <laughs> More time together. But the, the brakes feel really good. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> no, you know what's the best part? I'm not even stepping on the brake right now. Ah? Because this brake, like I said, is essentially the handbrake, right? So the moment the car hits like zero km per hour, then it essentially just stops. Oh. So now you're I, not pressing anything? I'm not pressing anything. Oh. No, six, but six, it took six. a bit of getting used to because I'm used to driving petrol cars, right? And it's like yeah. I constantly have to step my foot yeah. on the brake. Mm. Very tiring. Then everything. eventually when the auto hold button came out, the everyone's like, wow. But then this one is like, don't even need to press anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Okay, and let's go! That's a crazy uh, so smooth. <laughs> so smooth. What in suspension no, compared to ours? <laughs> she go down there. You don't feel the anything. Yeah, thing. usually ours got a look. So because we're trying to step up the food game also, right? And, uh. and to make it like understandable for our audiences, right? Should we break down like the mechanics of how to rate where, what a good Hokkien means? I, I okay. agree. I agree. Okay, okay. Let's do it. First thing first is the noodle lah. Huh? Okay, so some people like it dry, some people like it wet. So then how do we determine which is better? Dry or wet is the, is the flavouring and the sauce, right? But I think the noodle itself, uh, one critical component is mm. that there has to be a slight char to it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. Wow. Correct. No, but you must actually see a bit of the black bag. Yeah, yeah, on yeah, the noodle. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that, one, that one is correct. There are some scholarly school of thoughts with regards to wow, Hokkien right? Wow. <laughs> that it must be eaten tap out. Yeah. Ooh, ah, to why give it correct. time for the noodle, right, to absorb the juice. You must Ooh. have that brown paper feel. But I don't like. Because <laughs> I like the juice. Okay, yeah. so the other thing about Hokkien Mee that I'm questioning, right, is must it taste good without the chilli? And then you add the chilli, right, then it's a different experience. Yes. Or is it usually you all just whack the chilli mixed together straight away and then that is Hokkien Mee? I think to me, the chilli is essential. It's similar to chicken mm. rice, where you have to rate the how good the chicken rice place is with the chilli. What if sometimes it's just the chilli is good? Then that's good enough for no, me. No, no, but if the uh... chilli is good huh, and the Hokkien Mee is mediocre, right? It makes a great Hokkien Mee. Okay, yes. then, okay, let me rephrase the question. Is Hokkien Mee supposed to be a spicy dish? But the chilli not say very spicy also. Eh? Mm. Yeah, yeah. But it the just... chilli has so much taste. It's yeah. not just spicy. Mm. So much taste. How about the amount of prawn? Does that matter? The liao. Ah. Yeah. Prawn not important to me. Okay. The sotong uh... not important. Then tauge. Or get out of play. <laughs> I think pork lard. Essential. <laughs> Must. Yeah. For some reason, Hokkien Mee prawn always very flat. Right? Because they cut half. <laughs> you know, yeah. you can tell how fresh the prawn is, right, by the tail, whether it opens up or whether it's closed. Right. And Hokkien Mee prawn always closed, right? Open is fresh. Because uh -huh. they try to run away still. <laughs> yeah, okay. Ready, everybody? Yeah. Three, two, yeah. one. Hop. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we have block 153, Serangoon North, 
to try Selty Hokkien Mee as recommended by you guys. In fact, it was the most recommended by the viewers. Oh very wow, exciting, exciting. Very for exciting. the North. So please, John, we have a challenge before we can eat the food. Can wow. you please receive it? Wait, is it difficult why challenge? Why also become like that? Huh? Play a game amongst yourself. The oh. loser pays for the next meal. Ha! I love and everybody, it. Everyone picks a stick. The one with the shorter stick loses. So it's a game of luck lah, the first oh, one. Oh shit, yeah, 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 not in that game. It's not me. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. 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 No, so you hold, we you draw lah. Ah. You need to mix, you need to mix. Oi, what are you doing? Is he... he Wala, well, he rigged it lah. Okay, I go first. Okay, okay, then going first. Draw a Pervisi pool, right? The short one in the middle, cause he, that's the more likely one. Ah, I love an overthinker lah. Okay, okay. You don't know whether that's a long one or short one? No <laughs> idea, no contact. Oh, okay. I'm not sure either. <laughs> like okay. if everyone is cut. Would you like to go next? Okay, we go same time. So at the same time, we'll find out. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay, ready? Yeah. Okay, okay. Oh. okay. One, two, three. Is it? Yeah, I'm not sure. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very sure. How did I lose this one? <laughs> <laughs> He's about to reach for 20 minutes over there. Okay, go, go, go. Okay. Hey, I'm going to try the first one. I'll say I'll stick to the color. Yes, let's go. Okay. Oy, Thank you, Cheryl. Lunch time. Lunch time. It's here, it's here, it's here. Wow. Oy. I feel like I don't want to eat it to know. The consistency. I'm so excited. This one wins today. So this is the regular portion Correct. that is 550, and then they have a smaller version which is 450. It's it's the semi semi wet kind, um, but it's not soupy. It's it's very viscous. Mm. Mm. Then you you don't really taste the tauge. The tauge is well cooked, which I'm okay with. Wow. Wow. Good. The chili is like we mentioned just now, so flavorful but not spicy. Mm. Yeah, so I think it adds a good like. Twist but the chili is a bit different, right? It's a sour kind. Mm. Yes. I feel like this Hokkien Mee flavor wise, right? The egg, the egginess is a bit stronger, but I don't mind it. Mm. Yeah. It's like you can taste the fried egg all over. All right. And I also like that the. The size of the, the ingredients yeah. is all diced up, right? So every bite you get a different it's, things, yes, 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 different yeah, elements yeah, yeah. In, in every mouth. But it's a lot of egg in it. I prefer yeah, the yeah. egg though because I like it that like it breaks up the monotony of the noodles. Yeah. It's true yeah. and it reminds me almost like chakwe tiao kind of feel or even like a fried rice. Are we gonna rank the stores that we visit today? Okay, okay. We, we follow how the Michelin guide used to be. Okay. So okay. in terms will come here. <laughs> One star means if you're around the area worth trying. Yeah. Okay. Two star means if you are on the way, it's worth a slight detour. Mm. Okay. And three star means this is a destination worth going to, to make a trip for. Yeah. Can give half? You know. So one, two, three star. Okay. You don't see Michelin give half? Wait. Okay. Three, two, one. Two. Three. Okay. So right, now right, the total right. score is nine. Nine. Which makes it <laughs> okay, so the next destination we're heading to is the best of the south, which Ooh. is called Hong Heng Fried Sotong Prawn Mi. Sounds legit. This kind of name mm. I trust. River Valley, yeah. Okay, so but now- salty, like <laughs> no experience. <laughs> okay guys, so we have some food in our bellies already. We got your energy. One of the What's other things that we actually mm. need to do is mm. write a song. Xiao <laughs> Bo! If you check in the back, there's a little something, something. Oh! Oh shit! Wow. No way, okay. this thing opens. You can access the- right. Why? Then what was your plan? It's a ski hatch. I thought it's on top. Oh, it's on top, bro. <laughs> <laughs> but what the heck? you driven this car for how long already? I think three days. Have you had to charge it? Uh, I charged it for the shoot. So I think it, so far I've driven, it takes up about 15 to 20% of the battery every day. But I do drive like quite lengthy because I drive my partner to work which is all the way through right. and then to office and then after that they go out for dinner and all that. Right. Wow. Yeah. So I do drive quite a bit in a day. What was like the, the total range that expected for this? Uh for this car specifically the GTX version is above 500. But then for the pro version, which I assume is the one that more people would get, like mm -hmm. is the more standard version. So that one is 550 km. Right. Wow. But I mean, of course, it varies depending on your driving style that, and like whether like you are. That's like patrol, la. Yeah. Mm. Right. That's about like a 30 litre uh, patrol. But the crazy part is that now is, for example, right, if I go to have dinner, mm. a lot of shopping malls already have the charger and they have the fast charger as well. Yeah. So it's literally, I plug my car, I go eat dinner, yeah. I come back, right, then I can continue I driving. feel like that's such an unfair advantage. You always get like parking lots. Ah, uh, yeah. Yes. What annoying, yeah. Every time I go to malls now, it's just like six empty lots, 12 yeah. empty lots. Then right in front of the lift, eh, yeah. you know, eh, these guys need to use your electricity, put them a bit further from the lift. <laughs> eh. The rest of us hustling. Eh. Wait, our drive is only 15 minutes and eh? we need to make a song. Okay, so we need to write song in 15 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Zero to 100 in an instant. The same move that's important to presenting your first part. Hello kids, we're gonna learn about Eevee. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> wow. Today's knowledge is on electric vehicles. <laughs> She's willing to do it all. <laughs> she goes the distance. <laughs> she shows me the world. Ooh. I can see the moon right through her. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, okay and one, two, and take it away, dance. She goes zero to hundred in an instant. She goes back and forth, anticipating my movement. Who is she? Volkswagen. She likes it big, how about 20 inches? She's sensitive to the touch and on with my motions. Who is she? Volkswagen. She's willing to do it all. She goes the distance. She shows me the world. I can see the moon right through her. She keeps me safe, don't know what I'll do without her She gives me space, she stays in the lane She's beautiful Volkswagen Yeah! yeah! Oh, we nice, did it! Nice, nice. Don't bother fighting because he missed one call but it's okay! <laughs> <laughs>
they see the signal, right? Boom! And if they have the instant talk of this EV, <laughs> wow, they will close the gap. <laughs> <laughs> My pet peeve is, is with pet. <laughs> so it's a it's pet, a pet peeve. Yeah, it's From time to time, because of it's difficult to change lane or whatnot, then if you miss the exit, miss the exit. But pet, cannot, pet will get really upset. Like she, she will very kick on her. She seemed to need to tell me which lane to tell, to, to stick to. So backseat driving. I, yeah, I don't really get raged out by outside the car. I'm raged by the people in the car. My net peeve. Uh, net peeve. Uh, very, 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 very minor. Doesn't work. Very, very minor, but like, so when I do miss a turn, right, I can, she doesn't, she doesn't make it obvious, but she just go like, ooh, that's what's. <laughs> <laughs> then it's like, but we're not in a hurry, right? Mm. I don't think I ever road rage before. Eh. No, I'm not no, a you sh- As a passenger, then I, he got all kinds of koi lan. So he <laughs> no, will road rage on my behalf. Uh. So, so like certain things happen, right? Then he will like, oi! Then like we drive past, right? Then he will like stare the guy. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Okay, what happens if a person of the opposite sex, a colleague of the opposite sex, keeps offering to send your partner home? What if it's oh. a small detour? Small detour. Minimum 10 minute detour. Cannot, cannot. I think at the start of my relationship, cannot. So how how long would you say into a relationship then you think it's like acceptable? Eight. Eight months? Yes. yes. Huh? Eight no years, way. you crazy. Eh? You changed how many jobs right there? Eight years, I'm on my third wife. Eh. <laughs> 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 I changed job, I changed wife. <laughs> no, honestly, the savings now is crazy. What, okay, what if you know that the person is interested in your partner? Absolutely That's not. That's crazy. No, but you eight years together, idiot. Oh yeah, like, they see, they see, I trust her, I just don't, don't trust the other person. <laughs> that, hey, that's you, a cop out, that's you, a cop yeah, out. You no, think no. the argument stands? I think it doesn't make sense. I think it makes perfect sense because you know why not? This is not a situation like they are both sitting next together at work. This is a confined space, right, where the person is in control because they drive the car. They can easily say, I want you to do this now. If not, I'm going to drive into a ditch. No, so then, then, then why are you okay for using private hire? Because private hire, right? Wait, wait, where's the vlog cam? Them. We need to vlog cam this gotcha <laughs> bitch. <laughs> no, that argument doesn't make any sense. But like if it's a friend, right? This guy's livelihood depends on Grab. Grab, all the details are being shared and it's available oh, to yeah, anybody. But likewise, but, you also don't know uh, currently where the... You know, you need to call Grab to figure out the Grab driver's yeah. details. No, so what I'm you saying can call Ned's boss. What I'm saying is that after today, right? Ned will be sending me their Grab details, everything. Because <laughs> <laughs> of John Paul, thanks so much, <laughs> No, okay, how about if say for example, I'm driving a colleague of the opposite sex home, but you're also picking up your partner. So I mean, obviously the person sit in front first, right? When mm. it's time to pick up your partner, should the person move to the back? Yes, yes. absolutely yes. I would insist for the person to sit behind the first place. Huh? No la! No. Yes. That's, no. no. yes. that's the one. Yes. That's, yes. that's you overthinking yeah. though. No, 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 no. Then it makes people feel like you are thinking of something wrong. Yeah. No, it's just you're because I know that Nate is going to come in, right? Like at the front. Why do we need to do the whole shuffle thing? What no, if no, there okay. is a queue? Where I'm at, right, is that if it's just you and I in the car, sit in front, yeah. I need you to offer to shuffle and then Pat will say no need. That to me is perfect day. Okay, so right now we're at Geylang Long 29 for the charcoal fried Hokkien Mee. Now is Kurt, he's actually the managing director of Volkswagen Singapore. Welcome! Welcome. Welcome. Thank you guys, very thank you. So Kurt has been in the automotive industry for more than 20 years and currently he's been living in Singapore for how many? Yeah. Since 2019. 2019, so Shortly about five years. Shortly before COVID. 20 years ago, EVs were not even on the road yet, right? What excites you the most about the electrification of vehicles? Oh, there are, there, are, there are many. First of all, of course, uh, uh, most important sustainability. Mm. Effect out of the gas pipe, there is no CO2 emission. Yeah. Yeah, right. I still think that uh, driving is, is very important. And I think an electric car is, from this perspective, from my point of view, outstanding. The immediate torque and the smooth uh, uh, acceleration. Yeah. Yeah. Secondly, Due to the battery pack in the middle of the car, very low gravity is a very, very good and, and um, yeah, I would say sporty and dynamic uh, yeah. driving. So is there a completely different approach required when designing an EV compared to an yeah. IC car? When, we, when you talk to the designers in the past, they said we were designing a car from outside in. Now they say we designed the car from inside out. Oh. Because also of a lot of um, new driver assistance systems, of course, the, 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 there is more attention on the on the inside. 
uh, regarding materials, uh, I don't know, smell of car and uh, colors. I think one of the interesting um, challenges that, that, that people are facing with EVs is range anxiety. Mm. Yeah, like what, what, what are your thoughts on that? Yeah, I think for, for Singapore it's not such a big issue because uh, the distance people are driving is, is uh, I would say, not too much. Also, during uh, b because of this uh, urban environment, I think the, the charging infrastructure uh, is here and uh, growing, I think, day by day. I mean, yeah. government has the green plan, has clear strategy. Even commercial shopping malls, uh, more or less you find uh, everywhere now. And in addition, when you look about the development of the EVs, one year, two years ago, we talked about a a range of 300 or whatever, 350 kilometers. Yeah. Yeah? Now we talk about 500, 700 yeah, yeah, yeah. and so on. So right. step by step, this is improving. And uh, with the new ID4 uh, now, you have a range of plus 500. So this is the Geelang Long 29 Charcoal Hokkien Mee. And the reason why charcoal is in the name is that they're known for their smoky flavor because they use charcoal mm. flavor. So right. people who like wok hei, which is like that really like burnt but like savory taste. You know what wok hei means? You're gonna, you're gonna yeah. feel it here. Yeah. Perfect timing. All right. Whoa. Oh. Oh, really wow. got the charcoal. This looks correct. Like the color. This looks correct. The color yeah. of the charcoal. Wow. I tell you why this place is promising. And this is an indicator you can tell in Singapore. So they, they close for a break and they open at three. And we asked them, can we order now at 2.55 and they say no, we only start at 3. So oh. when you have hawkers that are so arrogant, right? <laughs> you know the food is very, very confident. Cool. Yeah. They don't have to rely on you, the fact that it looks a little bit greyish is what really sells me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh. Can you taste the smokiness? <laughs> Whoa. It's the first thing that hits you. Mm. Is that smoky like, oh. Delicious. Hmm. Uh, I can taste the wood. Without chili. Why? Uh? You didn't put chili? <laughs> no. <laughs> because they use charcoal fire. Wow. Why you got so much difference? There's so many layers there. Eh. <laughs> yeah. oh, you solo it not? <laughs> solo got another level. No, another level. When you dream of eating Hokkien Mee, right? This is the taste you're dreaming of. Yeah. This is a wonderful <laughs> in-between of the first two places that we had. And also like the mixture of the noodles and all of that, I think it's, feels, it tastes a lot better to me. Mm. Yeah. I must say, the only one criticism I have, right, is that they didn't give enough chili. The previous yeah, yeah, yeah. two places, right, is overflowing with chili. So there are four size options, $6, $10, $15, and $20. $20? Which is massive because this, if I'm not wrong, it's a $6 option. Yeah, it's already very, very substantial for a single person. Lah. Basically, Hokkien Mee right, should be a family event, and so you buy a $20 version, everyone can dig in. Okay, yeah. we're gonna rate the dish right now. Okay? Together, together. Yeah. Okay? Okay. Yeah. okay. One, two, three. 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 <laughs> nice. hey, you just now this morning, tell me what's this? Yeah. I said, can I said, catch up, can. <laughs> what was your first? your first job in the automotive industry 20 years ago? Ooh. My first job in the automotive was in IT. So you joined a car company yeah. to be the IT guy? Yes. Oh. Look at you! Wow! <laughs> <laughs> and, then, and then how long before you started working on cars? Yeah, it was maybe 10 years. Mm -hmm. 10 years. Okay. Actually, very difficult to huh, design car. Yeah. <laughs> it's not like, you know, you kind of know the silhouette, then let's just do that. You can't. You gotta make sure it's new, it's different, it's face lifted. But when people see, even before I put the logo there, no. when I see the face, yeah. it must reflect that car. Yeah, even even uh, it's it's a new, it's a new design with a lot, a lot of new uh, things inside. You still feel the Volkswagen DNA. Yes. Okay. Um, and you still feel this familiarity. I, I, do, I do relate to that. My friend drives a, a VW and it, it goes in and it feels, it feels familiar yet very much upgraded. You don't feel like you're stepping into a machine you don't recognize. Mm. I think that's, yeah. that's right what you say. It's an, it's an evolution and upgrade. Mm. Uh, it's not uh, totally different. Yeah. Yeah. And, and I think that's the good thing because um, the success of, I think, Volkswagen and all the cars was also, also this uh, solid, solidity, German engineering. Mm. And I think also this you find yeah. in our new electric cars in, in the right. ID4. Mm. Yeah, I think oh. something about me is like when I drive, everything is muscle memory. So when I borrow someone's car right, and I try to adjust certain things, it's like, oh, wait, wait a minute, that's not where it is. And I guess yeah. like what you're seeing with the DNA is that everything is where it should be. Yeah, exactly, <laughs> exactly. Okay, so thank you very much, Kurt, for joining us. And thank you, Gelang Lorong 29, for this nice Hokkien Mee. We'll see you blessing. at the next location. <laughs> <laughs>
you guys think about when you drive? Is it like random stuff or is it like conversation? Because I know like I always replay or like I have like fake hypothetical conversations in my head when I drive. There, there's also this phenomenon that happens in drivers and it has been recorded multiple times where the driver just zone out. You mm. don't remember the last 20-30 minute drive <laughs> but you have been driving safely and you've arrived at your destination. Yeah, yeah that's me. Yeah. That's me. <laughs> autopilot, autopilot. Yeah. Scary, yeah. Yeah. It's like this is a simulation, I think. <laughs> oh, the person press fast forward. Uh. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know that movie Click? Yeah. Uh. <laughs> he did the same thing. Uh. He just fast forward through the boring parts. How did we end up JB, here? JB, travel guide. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah. That funny. You want to change money already? You change money already? Give me out now, you see the yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Like when people describe Singapore as very fast paced, the people in the West just very confused. <laughs> I can't believe I allow the East uh, to stoop to a level when I say Elias is the bottom mall. No, this is the bottom mall. I think I've really never been here before. Eh. <laughs> it really is like from a different time, yeah. Just now we on the way when we clearing the checkpoint quite jam also, so it took quite a while to get here. Yeah, you see they cannot build very high also. You see like there are trees here behind you. It's <laughs> printed. Even the rain here like why not wet ah? It's like they don't the rain doesn't wanna be here. <laughs> So just as a side quest, we've also enjoyed rating Chachukang specifically today. You can send us other neighbourhoods to visit right? and we'll mm. visit and we'll tell you whether it's a good neighbourhood. We are a property specialist. <laughs> we are your I friendly neighbourhood. You already have actually on, <laughs> have on, on a friendly channel called MOSG. Jones is here. Welcome to my town. TDK on 3. 1, 2, 3. Yay. Yay. Oh, okay, Shams. okay, so Shams is with us right now. Welcome, uh, Shams! This is it, guys. You this know how much we sacrificed to get here? It's crazy. I, I fell asleep and woke up three times there <laughs> on the right here. <laughs> okay, so we're at the final and most important location. Woo! Shams recommendation. Best this is the reason why we did this whole trip, right? this whole video. Huh? Why is this the best Hokkien Mee? This is the best Hokkien Mee. Because there are two types of Hokkien Mee, right? The dry kind and the wet kind. Yes. If you like, Wet the kind, this is the best because all the top, all the goodness, are all in together. Okay, so to decide and settle who pay for this. Yes. This I is the last open for your envelope. I'm exempt from this as a reward for driving for the whole day. Okay, okay, and okay. Thank you. I already know what the well, then. <laughs> Okay, okay, fair enough. Question one. What is the estimated range for the 2024 ID4 GTX? John. A. Yeah. Oh, there you go. No, cannot. Oh, okay. There you go. 500 plus. Cannot like that. Can you? 550 km. Wrong. Okay, A, uh -huh. 550 km. Oh. B, 480 km. Not that one. C, 500 km. Jonathan Chua, C. And you don't hear the, yeah? Uh? Correct! <laughs> Correct! What is the estimated charging time for the ID4 GTX to go Chua. from 10 to 80%? Jonathan Chua. Jonathan Chua. 28 minutes. Wrong. <laughs> eh? Daniel, 26 minutes. Correct! The ID4 GTX has a driver assistance system that helps the driver to park the car. Mm. This system is called wow, go A. Park Assistant. B. Parking Aid Enhanced. C. Enhanced Parking Guidance. And D. Park Assist Plus. Daniel. Oh. A. Wrong. Wrong. Jordan Chua. Okay. Oh, Between B or D, yeah, can yeah, you help yeah. me out? What do you think? What was D and D again? Never mind, never mind. Just B or D. Let's B. Go. D. D? Yeah. Correct! Yes! Ah! I was going to say D as well, but I eliminate for me. Fuck so, ah. two points, one point, zero! zero. Yeah. All right. Oh, oh, thank you so thank much. You. The Chinese yeah. thank, you. thank you, thank you, thank you. Hey, I must say the orange plate makes it look very appetizing. Huh? Okay, so Shams did say that the one here is more moist. And yes. that is true just based on pure looks for right. now. Yeah. And the chili makes a difference. Very so far, it's quite interesting because every single Hokkien Mee place that we've gone, the chili looks very different. Yeah, Ooh, for me, really? yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Cheers! Yeah. Hokkien Mee! Whoa. Whoa. Okay, in all honesty, <laughs> I think it's a decent plate of Hokkien Mee. Yeah. It meets the bare minimum requirement of what Hokkien Mee is supposed to be. Yeah, I disagree. Okay, what is lacking? You better be in support. <laughs> 
I think it's very nice. Wow. I think the broth, you know how in the previous location we talked about how this one tastes very prawny. Mm. This one is also prawny but it's different. Mm. It's the blachan kind of prawny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. the shrimp paste kind of prawny. Well, the thing away is, is damn good. Uh. I think if this was the first plate that we had today, I would have said, wow, not bad. But I think because we had at least two very, very good plates of Okami today, right? It's very difficult to put this anywhere near those other two. I think the chili saved the dish mm. by a lot. Yeah, yeah. I agree. As in the main thing that I noticed first mm-hmm. was that the proportion of the yellow noodle to the white noodles, right? It's yes, quite sir? different from what we've eaten oh. so far. Yeah. So the- this one there's way more white noodles, and so when you chew, right, I think you can taste the difference. In so fact, like, it's the different. Bite, the bite is very different. Do you yeah. notice that there's a third noodle? The bite is also a noodle. 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 Yeah. I'm realizing that this one is not extreme in terms of like the oh, I want to go for the a lot of walk here I want to go for the crazy extreme yeah. strong flavour mm. it's simple enough that I want to keep eating it yeah. it's balanced mm. yeah. and it actually has quite a good proportion of the liao so the egg and then the sotong and then the prawn is also quite fat yeah. what's fantastic though fantastic you know I must give it to them one yeah. that there's no tauge <laughs> no Absolutely one, no tauge this is the only one we've had today with no tauge oh my god I didn't realise there's a plus for jong chua okay me has no smell eh. <laughs> yeah, well, like, I'm now realizing that oh, like, we, we, have have, we have not commented on the smell so far <laughs> ever. You know that chicken rice, yeah. obvious. But like, if your mother made it, you wouldn't be like, oh my god, it's okay, me day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Just don't, won't know yeah, what like, he's making. Mom, no, you never cook. Uh. <laughs> 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 then she take out one giant. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry. Another thing I have to minus is that you cannot, only can you scan. Oh, yeah. Okay, uh, on the count of three, uh. three, two, one. Uh. Huh? Not nice, me. Hey, what's the problem? <laughs> I'm being honest. No, one star is because if I'm around here, I don't mind eating this. No, but you would choose this out every day. Yeah, out every day. Like, this is what you like, say if I'm here on a random Sunday, yeah. would I have this for lunch or anything else? Yeah. I don't think yes. I would. Remember yeah. who gave you a point, huh? I do wonder, right, what yeah. I would have rated it if we came here first. I, do, I think yeah. that this rating for me is fair because we've also tried others. And I think as compared to everything that we have tried, right, I would not give this a go. Yeah. To me, it's not as good as number two. Even though number two was okay. Huh, I prefer this to two. I, I think it's very much worth a detour. Just to understand what the f*** is talking about. Yes. But it's quite nice. You are propping nice. up this business. Okay, and that concludes our Hokkien Me expedition. This was really fun, guys. Excellent. We, the most time we spend together. Well, you travel the whole of Singapore You're still today. going for it. Yeah. Okay, so thanks guys for joining us for this episode and shout out to Volkswagen for sponsoring this video. Woo! Thank you very much! I okay. had the time of my life. We did, going out of the studio and all. Yeah, um, yeah. So how was driving the ID4? I had a lot of fun and I think it's not just because I love driving. I think like an EV is quite a different experience as compared to a petrol car. So like the ways they like keep you safe, like the technology is very different and then it's such a smooth ride. So yeah, I really enjoyed myself. Mm. It's smooth as a passenger also. Thank you! <laughs> yeah, it really was. So if you want to experience it for yourself, you can head down to the Volkswagen showroom at Alexandra Road. Mm. Mm. Thanks for joining us on the Hokkien Me Adventure. If you want to see more adventures like this, let us know in the comments down below what other food you want to try, what other neighbourhood you want to go see. You want us to roast. <laughs> <laughs> Roasting neighbourhood. You want roasted pork or roasted neighbourhood, you're safe. <laughs> okay, see you guys in the next video. Bye.